a chorus of roosters greets the new day. But in this small village in the northeast of India, their calls aren't the only ones that fill the air. A lady sings out to her neighbor. But this call has a much deeper meaning. Each short tune is unique, and each one represents a person. It's a kind of secondary name that people here use throughout their lives. Every villager in Gong Tong has one. It's called Jingrai Yaobei. Jingrai means the song, and Yaobei means the grandmother. This song has been composed for the newborn baby by mother or father. And because in our society, we are the material society, so we are, this song also we are dedicated to our grandmother. That's why we call in Kasi the Jing Royal Bay. Community leader Rothel Kongsep is a new father who's just finished composing a song for his baby boy. Rothel says composing a Jung Rai Yao Bei is an important rite of passage for parents, and it serves as a symbolic bond with their children. Even more so than their actual names, parents use the tunes to call their children from infancy to old age. <laughs> It's a centuries-old tradition, invented for practical purposes. According to the tale of our grandmother, before us, our belief that uh, in the jungles, we cannot call somebody's name. Maybe some kus, they are living in the jungles or in the rivers, so they might know your name or my name. If the kus know my name, and then they will take my name and then I might get uh, ill and maybe I will die. So to, to protect from that, instead of calling his or her name, they compose this in Bay and you know, they, instead of calling by names, they used to go by this in Bay and the course also, they don't know whose song belongs to, to whom, they don't know. People today aren't so superstitious. But Jingrai Yaobei is still a common way to communicate in a place where most people farm and gather forest produce in the steep hills to earn a living. And back in the village, Jingrai Yaobei is still the best way to call children to come home. The tunes of Jingrai Yaobei can still be heard across Gong Tong village. But life here is changing. New cash crops like broom grass have replaced traditional food crops, bringing in money and modern communication tools. The village elders fear Jingrai Yaobei may soon die out. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, now it is instead of calling by their names, by this by this thing, why obey? I mean, we used to call by the mobile. Huh? But Jingrai Yaobei is a tradition villagers in Kong Tong want to keep alive. So Rothel and other villagers have come up with an ambitious goal. They want to turn their community, which for centuries has been isolated from much of the world, into a destination for tourists from across India and beyond. The key to maintaining their ancient local customs, they say, is to make it relevant. Doing that means teaching their way of life to visitors from outside. But such a dramatic change can't happen overnight. So far, only a handful of researchers and journalists have visited this village, which remains extremely hard to get to.
A road to the village didn't even exist until 2013, and it remains far from complete. But progress, though slow, is being made. A few villagers recently formed a cooperative and are building a guest house in the traditional Khasi design. They hope it will attract tourists to come and stay for days at a time. We don't realize that this, you know, a way of ours that the people will know. And after the people coming for, you know, for, for interviewing and for, you know, for doing research, we are surprised that this our culture is, has been popular this much. So that's why, you know, we are realized now that we should preserve and we should, you know, promote them so that the people, they will know. And we also, the people of this village, we, we should practice uh, uh, from generation to generation. It's not certain if promoting their culture can be a successful economic model for Gong Tong, but trying to do so gives their local customs and Jingwa Yaobei a reason to survive. A unique tradition these people want to share with others. After all, there aren't many corners of the world where people can claim their name is a song. For Simon Asia, this is Pearly Jacob in Gong Tong Village in the northeast Indian state of Meghalaya. Hey, but